I'm 7 News reporter Jordan Johnson here in Buffalo, where organizations are working together to hopefully create community gardens out of vacant lots. Caused by, you know, a historic, you know, uh, histories, years of demolition by neglect um, and, you know, caused by racial segregation. And so we saw this as a way to give that ownership back to the community. Joe Kurtz is the vice chair of the Food Policy Council, which is supporting the Grassroots Gardens Public Land for Public Benefit agreement. The goal? Turn some of the 8,000 vacant residential lots in Buffalo into community gardens, connecting neighborhoods to fresh foods. Kurt says grassroots gardens organizers are speaking with city officials this week to find ways to move forward. Listen to their constituents and then figure out a way to actively put this policy into effect. Broadway Fillmore resident Donna Latham Edwards wants to see it happen. A lot of um, empty, um, empty lots um, in our in our communities. She sees these lots as a grassroots way to help neighborhoods in the city miles away from a supermarket. I would love to see um, more of it. But she also wants to make sure the gardens will remain for decades and will not fall by the wayside. But before anyone wants to get a community garden, we have to know that it is rotens. There is ways that you um, have to try to ensure to keep them out is about soil, soil testing. Organizers say this agreement would ensure safe growing. So that if they do get this public land for public benefit policy, you know, passed, that there's support um, for people to actually grow safely in their neighborhoods. Gordon Johnson, 7 News, Buffalo.